Hi guys, welcome to another Journal with Me episode. This is number four. Um, as usual, I am just taking out my scraps of the pocket in front of my traveler's notebook and the washi tapes from the back. And I've realized I really enjoy journaling with um, such a limited supplies because otherwise I get overwhelmed and don't know what to choose. So if I have a little stash in the front of my traveler's notebook, it's really easy. So here I'm just inking the edges um, rather than painting it uh, with watercolor this time I decided to just ink it a little bit to give it a little vintage look. And I decided I want to put this um, dried flower from one of my walks or runs actually. Um, I just wanted to include that in the page as well as this barcode that came from a package from Happy Mail. Um, but in the end I actually don't end up using this barcode because somehow I think I forgot about it. Now here I'm just going through my stash to see what papers I think I'm going to use for this spread. So for this first one that I glued down, I actually forget to ink the edges, but in the final outcome, it's actually okay to be bottom at all. continuing to um, ink the edges of the papers that I am gluing down bo on both sides and I um, try to keep the sides balanced by whatever I put on one side I will put in some shape or form on the other side even if it's not the same size but I do try to balance it that way. Looking at this spread now, um, after I've done it, I think I really, really enjoy the style of the ink edges of, of the paper rather than um, coloring them with watercolor. So for the rest of the book, and I think there's only like three pages, three or so three spreads left. I think I might continue with this style. Washi tape to have some music notes on it as well, and it's a little bit pink. And then I look for another. Oh no, I think I'm looking for the flower. So I just made a cut there because it took me a while to find it. It was actually just under my book. So I decided to put that on top of another scrap paper. But then when I place it, I see there's a little hole there that I still wanted to. 
cover so I added another little scrap underneath that and then I just secure the little flower with a washi tape which actually rips while I'm putting pulling it um, from that thing but actually it, it's okay it's thinner that way and it turned out nicely now I'm gonna just add a wax seal and for some reason this wax um, it keeps burning when it drips down so that is kind of dangerous I do not want my valuable traveler's notebook to um, burn up in flames so I blew it out and I um, tried it again and this time I don't know it's the way I'm holding it it's not it's not burning but it's not dripping very, very well either so somehow this wax is not working very well I got this set I don't know was it I don't think it was Michaels I think it might have been Hobby Lobby Plus the wax has a little bit of sparkles in it, which I don't really want. It doesn't really work with the vintage look, but it's all I have at the moment. And then I decided to counteract something with something on the other side. I decided to add this little stamp. This is actually one that comes with the traveler's notebooks. And then I decide to add two more stamps. stamp that very well because you can see that top edge I didn't want that to have that there but oh well and on the other side I'm putting this compass I'm just removing the clip from the back so I have a flat surface underneath and that's basically it I'm just giving you a quick view of the details and then all I'm gonna do is add the date on the top and I'll take out my wonderful alpha stamps from um, the collections. I love these. And now I'm just gonna add the day of the week. So it's a little stamp from AliExpress. Uh, the other two were actually also from AliExpress. I just have the first letter of each weekday. And I'm just gonna circle the Friday. And that's basically the spread. And now I'm just gonna very quickly write today's entry basically about the end of my summer vacation this is my last Friday that I'm off I'm just kind of thinking about what, what happened in the summer and what was good and what did I accomplish and which art projects did I do just things like that Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Bye.